Francina, Warthog Princess, and welcome to another lug haul. This actually is technically three different hauls because I did have a lug unboxing. I did not film it. I just unboxed it because I was super excited. And I wanted to do the haul with two single item orders that I made from QVC. So here goes. The first item, and actually all of these are kind of new, but not necessarily new, new. Um, so this is new pattern in an older style, not old, but this is the black large dot in the Via 2. This is a convertible bag. It's a tote, a crossbody, and a backpack. So it's very, very similar to the mini puddle jumper. Um, and I'll put a link up here where we compared them side by side. But this is a new pattern, so super fun. I like the crimson large dot. I like the idea that I love Disney and I love lug but I just couldn't get into the red. It's just, I mean, I get it, it's Minnie Mouse, but the black and white I could actually get on board with. So here we are. Um, it's, it's the Via 2, so same as normal. It does have these rings here, so the straps do lay flat. These are not removable, um, but you have your phone pocket up top. Phone fits really nicely in there. I have the 6S Plus with a Vera case on there and it fits no problem inside and then below that you have your very iconic lug pocket on pocket so you have your magnetic strap or um, flap on the front and then you have your zipper pocket behind that and there you go really cute dots I love this okay um, the bottom pocket is nice big opening and inside you have two pen slots and that's it it's a very simple pocket but it is big enough to fit you know, like maybe the runway envelopes and stuff, but little pouches, no problem. On the back, you have a couple things. You have the cargo strap, which is great. You have another pocket here. This is a zipper pocket, and inside it's just lined. And then on the top, you have the slip pocket, which is where the back strap, backpack straps tuck into. And with this pattern, actually, they tuck away very discreetly. These are non-slip grip on the inside, um, the part that goes against you, which is great. And like I said, on the front, the same thing on the back, the strap lays flat against the body. This bag also has these clips, obviously where the backpack straps will hook up to, but they can tuck behind there and they stay discreetly hidden away when you're not using them, which is very nice. So that's the outside. Aside from that, you have two big cargo pockets on the sides of the bag. These are very generously sized, so you can fit uh, a good number of different water bottles in there, not just the lug ones. And it is lined, again, with the pattern inside, which we'll look at in a moment. Okay, so the Via 2 has the framed top side, so it's like a big mouth bass, a large mouth bass. It has that nice big wide opening with that framed, you know, around it. So that's very nice accessibility. On the front of the bag, you have one zipper all the way across, but one side is clear view and one side is privacy pocket. And it is RFID as well, there's your tag right there. And then that's it for that side. On the other side, you have a full length big cargo and it is fleece lined, which is nice. So you can put like your tech back there. You've got a key bungee and you can see this pattern on the inside. Um, it's to me, it's very Mickey head-esque, like it's circles, and I'm sure it's not Disney licensed, but to me, you can very easily see why that would be a Disney type pattern. That's just me. Um, a nice wide strap. This is your removable, adjustable shoulder or crossbody strap. Um, it does attach diagonally, one in the front there and one on the back side versus directly down the side, and that's just because of the way that it opens. So it's just a necessity of function there. And then the bag itself has a flip down semi-rigid bottom and so there's your your full capacity of the bag right there it does have feet which is nice it does not have that wipeable clear plastic bottom that some of the love bags have um, but it's a great bag so you just flip that bottom up and then you can fold the bag to lay flat for storage which is important okay so that is the via 2 in black large stuff and then I got another Via 2 
because I like the Via 2. Um, it's a little big for a purse backpack, but I could totally do it on certain days where you have to maybe take more stuff with you. Certainly is a great day bag. Um, but I got it in blue and black because I love blue and black with the purples and teals and, and nice pretty colors and florals. So there's the front. I didn't get a whole lot of the purple on the front, but it does show up a little more on the back. Um, but it's beautiful, beautiful bag with really pretty colors. But the same exact structure. The inside is, of course, the interior of Bloom Black, which is that beautiful, I call it my Asian satin teal or whatever. Um, but it just has the little dot floral sort of matrix. Yeah, so that is the Via 2 times 2. Then I also got, and this is one of the QVC orders, so that was from Love. Um, but this was from QVC, and this is the Camper SE in Bloom Black, because I love my Bloom Black. So this is, um, like, you know, it's not the first camper, but it is a newer version of it. I'm not sure what the differences are from the previous version, but I really, really like this version. This might be my new favorite crossbody bag at the moment, honestly, just because it's a great medium to large size bag. I love the coloration. It's got the nice basket weave quilting on it and that doesn't detract from the floral at all, I think, at least not from a distance. Um, yeah, but here it is. So first thing right off the bat is you do have your side cargo pockets on both sides of the bag. So we will soon do comparisons now starting to cross over between Vera and Lug and other. This would be, I think, a most closely equivalent to the on-the-go or the factory-style go-ahead bag, crossbody shoulder bag. Um, possibly the large, so it might be in between the two sizes, but yeah. So I think we'll do that comparison side-by-side side soon. But it has these nice pockets on the side. You have on the back, it is quilted on the back as well as the front. You have a big zipper pocket all the way across and nothing inside it it's just a nice big pocket it does go all the way to the bottom but it's only as wide as the zipper it doesn't go all the way across the bag on the front you have your classic love telephone pocket it is a horizontal one so you can't put your phone in this way well you can but it'll stick out but you put laying down like this it fits fine with plenty of space to spare like i said if you put it standing up it, it just sticks out it's not and it'll lean over. Second pocket, zipper, it goes all the way to the bottom, which is nice. And then front pocket, the bottom one, is fleece lined. So for me, that's my sunglasses pocket. Um, certainly if you wanted to swap that, but your sunglasses here and your phone there, yeah, you can do it any way you want. That's just what I plan to do. And that's it for front and back. You got a nice wide strap on it, very generously adjustable. And then inside, this is just great, it packs a wall up. So first of all, the size of the bag right there, it's a little bit wider than some of the bags I have, but I like that it's very proportional, I think. It's a nice width and depth, so there's that. On the back of the bag, you have several pockets. You have this zipper pocket here. It is a clear view front on it. You see my finger there? sort of right in the pocket, but it has its own gusset on the one side. So unlike some of the other ones that are just flat against the bag, this one has a little bit more space to it um, because it can kind of pooch out a little bit. So you can zip that up. And then opposite that on this side, you have a slip on top that is fleece lined. So for me, again, that's uh, another place you could put something soft, another phone or sunglasses or readers. Then in front of that, you have another slip pocket. So you have two slips right here, one and two in front of each other. The front one, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this very well, but the front one has two pen pockets right there inside the slip. And then you have a key bungee right next to it on the side. On the front of the bag, inside, you have a nice clear view all the way across. That's it. But I think it's just great. It has just the right amount of organization. I'm really, really excited to give it a try. But so many bags to try. It's going to take me a while if I change bags every day, which I have no intention of doing. So I'll get to them when I get to them, but it's, it's fun. 
All right, and then I got the compass. In what color? <laughs> Blue and black, of course, because why not? Um, super excited. This is a brand new style. I know a lot of people have done videos on this already. Um, some have even done a what's in my bag, so you can look that up for sure. Um, but it's great. It's like two roundabouts on the front of your Ranger. <laughs> That's great. Uh, yeah, super excited. Okay, so first on the outside, you have pocket on pocket, pocket on pocket, and then you have a side, you have your snap open water bottle holder. Or you can put other things there too. It doesn't have to be a water bottle, but but a nice general, you know, it's elastic and then it hides away sort of discreetly. Right there. There's nothing on the other side, that's fine. On the back, you have a snap. It's a magnetic snap, so it does kind of guide itself back into position. Not perfectly, it is a tiny snap. I mean, look at that little thing. So I don't know why they didn't just do a hidden magnet there. Well, that would have done, but maybe there's a reason. But I don't mind the snap, I just, it, yeah. But it is a full panel pocket, so you can put things in there. There we go. On the front, let's look at these pockets. So you have top pocket, and there's no organization inside of it. The phone does fit in there. If you, you know, angle it in like that, you just have to get under that zipper and go. Fits just fine. And these are the same size, so if it fits in the top, it fits in the bottom. It's not fleece lined though, it's just a regular pocket. Then you have the second pocket, just opens across, and it's just a basic pocket. So you can be like a roundabout or a round trip or something just about that size, you know, coop size, if you will. It is not the bubble quilting, but it is similar, just like bigger spaced, but it does have some little quilting, you know, pushy feel to it. All right, so top and bottom are same, same. Let me make sure I'm not lying to you. Yeah, they're exactly the same, top and bottom. One interesting thing is these zipper pulls are not the normal love zipper pulls. That I love, by the way, so I'm not sure if I like this or not. I will let you know later after I've used it a little bit. But they are just material kind of looped and sewn in a loop so it's a soft grab but it's it's quieter you don't have that dangle jangle from all your zippers banging against each other but but yeah so it, yeah i'm not sure we'll see but there is a phone pocket up here so even though it fits down there you can put it in your normal vertical phone slot and magnetic closure up there so that's the outside, and there are two main interior compartments. We'll look at the back one first. So they split the handle. The handle there, you have one compartment on each side. The back one is a straight compartment. It is very plain, no organization inside. You could fit a small tablet in there quite easily. My tablet is not small. Um, but yeah, so it won't fit like a eight and a half by 11 folder, but you could certainly put your planner in there, which is my intention. So we shall see. If, well, maybe even back here, we'll see. But that's my plan. And then up front, that is a single zipper, by the way. The front pocket, which is the main compartment, single zipper, yeah, single zipper all the way across. Inside you have your removable, adjustable crossbody or shoulder strap. You can, of course, carry it still just like that by itself. You have inside, on the back of the bag, you have a privacy pocket with a zipper, and that goes down to about an inch shy of the bottom of the bag, so right about to there. That's okay. It's a pretty big bag, I mean a pretty big pocket. In front of that, you have a soft line fleece cargo pocket, and then you have two pen slots next to it. You also have on the one side, the side of the cargo pocket, you have your key bungee. I do prefer this over the little nubby things because it's so much easier to access it. And then on the front, you have your clear view pocket. And that clear view pocket is pretty deep actually. It goes right about to here. So just a little lower than the first pocket. So pretty good size. Yeah, it doesn't go all the way down, but I think I wouldn't want it to, honestly. Things would get lost in the bottom of that pocket. 
But that's it. That is the bag. It's very, like I said, it's two roundabouts on a Ranger. It's, it's a great combo. It is a little bigger than the Ranger as well, but we can look at that side by side when we do some later videos. Ooh, it's tricky. So that is my first look at the compass. Yay! You can see the theme today because Bloom Black, baby. <laughs> Guess what's next? Bloom Black! It is a cuddle throw in my gorgeous, gorgeous Bloom Black. And I think it looks even better on the throw. Honestly, the colors just are even more vivid. And when you look at, like, for example, like, look at this flower. It's, it's almost got uh, like a peacock blue and teal mixed with a purple. It just blends so nicely. It's so soft. I love it. I love it a lot. Yeah, and just all the colors, they just pop really nicely on there. So, I mean, I, I know I could open it up for you, but I'm saving it. I don't know what fur, but if I open it all up, it's gonna get Kelly's white hair all over it. So I'm, I'm just not gonna do it right now, but it is gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And there you go. So it's a blue black kind of haul, along with the haul, which was the two vias and the blanket. The other two items came, the compass and this, the camper were from QVC. But from Lug, I got a Small World pen. Yay, I love pens. And a mask in brown. <laughs> yeah, another one. Yeah, very feminine colors. But I have lots and lots of masks. If anyone needs a mask, let me know. All right, so that is it for this Lug haul. I really had fun with it. I've been looking forward to it. I waited for all the pieces to finally show up, which came today. Love, Lug mail. Um, so there it is. Hope you enjoyed that as much as I did, and I will see you again soon. Bye for now.